Hello there, and welcome to my stream. So today, I'm not quite sure how long I've got, but I thought, you know what, I'm in the mood for something a little bit, a little bit more sedate, calming. So I thought I'd uh, have a first look at Meg Aquarium, or Meg Aquarium, Meg, yeah, Meg Aquarium. So I'm just going to jump into a new game. Okay, learn the basics here. Establish a small aquarium from scratch. Let's try and do that then. In Sunnyside. Welcome to Sunnyside. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can handle the basic controls. Complete the objectives in the top right of the screen to prove you know what you're doing. For more information on any subject, any objective rather, simply hover over the info button to the right of it. Good luck. Okay, so obviously, first little bit of gameplay, standard tutorial, so do bear with me. If you ever get stuck on a particular objective, hover over this button for handy tips. Thank you for that. Pan the camera, hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to pan the camera around the game world. I'll turn to the user WSD keys on your keyboard, that I can do. I'm just going to turn the audio down ever so slightly. It does seem a wee bit loud. There we go, that should be fine. Okay, orbit camera. Hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to orbit the camera around the centre of the screen. Alternatively, hold the control and move the mouse. Ah, I see. Ew. That's very smooth. It's more like a, an editing tool for The Sims or something. Okay, zoom camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom the camera in and out. Alternatively, hold shift and move the mouse forward and backward. Okay, easy enough. And return to home. If you lose your chrome, you can press the H key to return to the entrance at any time. I wish my home had that. Time to build. Great stuff. You've just unlocked the first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objecti objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review this or any other message, you can use the button in the bottom left of the screen. Alrighty then. Build basic tanks. Tanks provide space for your livestock to live in. Build things using the build menu over on the left side of the screen. Click the large button with a tank on it and look for a tank called Basic Tank. Once selected, hover the cursor over an empty part of the aquarium and click to build. Okay then, so I'm looking for the Basic Tank. Which capacity? This is the amount of fish this tank can hold. That does make sense. The Basic Tank has a low capacity and can be accessed and viewed from all sides. Okay, so I don't want to put it in the corner then. Let's do something like that then, I think. And... Okay. It stays to be built. Right-click to get rid of it, it seems. Attach a basic filter to each tank. Okay. Filters help keep the water in your tanks clean. You'll find the basic filter in the equipment section of the build menu. Look for it, the button with the cog and water on it. Filters must be built adjacent to your tanks. Okay, so basic filter. Ah, there we go then. So what's this? Filter power helps maintain basic water quality and reliability. High reliability equipment breaks down less often than low reliability equipment. Well, that does make sense. The basic water filter. No, sorry, the basic filter will maintain acceptable water quality on small tanks. I wonder if you can like double it up. I might try that. Although I don't know how to move stuff yet. So we'll give that a go. So if I put that there. What happens? Can I move this? Is that a little move icon? Looks like it. Now, will this provide for both of them? No. Oh, well. It was worth a try, wasn't it? Oh, actually. I might be able to be a bit sneaky here. Can I put another basic filter without attached to there? Oh, there we go. Alrighty. I'm happy with that. Attach a basic heater to each tank. Oh, poo. That's going to block them. I was hoping they'd be able to get around. Okay. 
It's early days yet. I think I'm I think I'm putting a bit too much effort into this. Okay, attach a basic heater to each tank. Heaters keep your tanks at the tropical temperatures your fish need. You'll find the basic heater in the equipment section of the build menu. Look for the button with the cog and water on it. Heaters must be built adjacent to your tanks. Basic heater. The basic heater will keep the water of tropical no at tropical temperatures on small tanks. Heating. A tropical tank requires thermostat temperature. Heat greater than or equal to a fishy, watery thing. Huh? <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Add some azure demoiselles to each tank. Very posh. Fish and other livestock are what bring guests to your aquarium. Whenever a guest observes your livestock, you gain points. Little leavey things, science and tokens? Don't really know. Achievements? Don't know. You can find the Azure Demoiselles under the livestock section of the build menu. Look for the button with the fish on it. There we go. Azure Demoiselle. Oh, look. Well, that's very cute. This fish has a quirky habit of eating fish feces. Mmm. Lovely. Just like me. <laughs> This unusual behaviour is a way of supplementing their nutrition in the wild. Okay, so what's this one? Each time a guest views this, there is a chance that they will enjoy it, generating prestige. Okay. Each time a guest encounters a particular animal object, there is another chance for them to enjoy it. However, it will only generate prestige the first time. Number of ecology points earned whenever the guest views this. Size. This is the amount of space the animal takes up in the tank, and also the amount it contributes to lowering the water quality in a tank. Size also determines the base prestige chance. This means you need less large animals in a tank compared to small animals. Tropical. Okay, so it does need heating. It requires a water quality of at least 50%, because, you know, poop eaters are very picky. And it eats orange pellets. Okay, so... Uh, Add some Azure Demoiselles to each tank. Okay, that I can do. Will that do? Yeah, let's do that for now. Add some decoration to your tanks. Decorations serve many functions. Guests prefer tanks which have a good variety of decorations in, plus some animals need certain decorations to thrive. Find them under the tank decoration section of the build menu. Look for the button with the underwater plants Ooh, sea lettuce. Yum. Often found in nutrient-rich or even polluted areas in the wild. Suitable for temperate or tropical conditions. And it adds a plus one to plant, whatever that means. And rocks. Everyone loves rocks. Rocks provide a surface for microscopic bacteria and zooplankton to live on. This live surface lends a small amount of filtering to the tank. Oh, well, that's handy. So let's let's add some rock. Boop. There we go. Now oh, you can rotate it with the mouse wheel. That's that's worth knowing, I suppose. And I want to add a sea lettuce. Let's put it at the back corner. And there we go. Okay. Build an orange. Yeah. Uh, no. Build an orange pellet dispenser. <coughs> I do beg my pardon. Food dispensers are used by your staff to gather food before feeding your livestock. You can find the orange pellet dispenser under the tools section of the build menu. Use the mouse wheel or Q and E to rotate. What am I looking for? Tools. There we go. Orange pellet dispenser. The orange or omnivore pellet provides basic nutrition with a mix of greens and meat. I want one. The dispenser has a limited capacity, but is refilled at the beginning of each day. It has a capacity of 200 orange pellets. Refilled at the beginning of each day. A full refill costs $20. Okay. Let's put that there. Build a tool station. Tool stations provide tool kits, which are used by your staff to fix broken down equipment. You can find the tool station under the tool section of the build menu. Use the mouse wheel or Q. Okay. Actually, I want to move that. I'm going to move that over here. No, not over here. I'm very picky. See? This is what OCD does to you. 
It's not. This has nothing to do with OCD. Has capacity for one toolkit reuse. Okay, tool station. The tool station provides a toolkit that your staff can use to fix broken down equipment. Note each tool station only comes with a single toolkit, so you'll need more than one if you want two staff to be able to fix things simultaneously. Alrighty then. Hire an aquarist. Aquarist? Aquarist. Staff look after your livestock by making sure they get fed each day and by maintaining the equipment. Later on, you'll also need staff to enrich your guest's visit. Hire staff via the staff window. Open it using the button with the man and woman in the bottom right of the screen. Ooh, hello, Anna. Anna cuts her teeth on hobby tanks at home, so likes to keep things small scale. Fitness determines natural talent for cleaning and the gift shop. It also determines the move speed of your staff. Anna has a speed of 153%. Not quite sure why it just says seven, but okay. Precision. Precision determines natural talent for fixing and a lesser extent feeding. Empathy. Empathy determines natural talent for feeding and to a lesser extent the gift shop. Memory. Memory determines the rate at which experience is gained and to a lesser extent natural talent for fixing and talking. Charisma determines natural talent for talking. I need some of that. Basic feeding skill 20. With a final value of 18, apparently. See, I don't know what these little twos mean. I don't see the point in that. Okay. Basic fixing skill, 10 with a minus 1. Okay. Or we can get Harry. Harry used to work in an aquarium shop, so is familiar with the basics of keeping an aquarium running. Uh, feeding, fixing... Yeah, let's go for that, then. Alright, Anna, you're going to be our first member of staff. There she is. Open your aquarium. When you're ready, open your aquarium by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. Probably that one that says click to open. There we go then. Oh, hello, we've got a first person coming already. Well done, your basic aquarium is up and running and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters your aquarium, they'll pay you some dollars to enter. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. Alrighty. Ooh, hello. Pick your next ecology project. I can get the orchid dotty back. The gentlest of the dotty back family, appearing to have missed the mean streak that characterises so many in this group. Ah, and it's also fluorescent pink. Great job. You've started to research a new animal, the orchid dotty back. As you earn more ecology points, you will make progress towards unlocking it. You can see your progress in the bottom left of the screen over here. Oh, I see. Can I view any information? Jill. I really like that, as you're a demoiselle. Not quite sure why I did that voice, but never mind. So, oh, hello, I've got some new things. Earn your first ecology point. Oh, everything's going off at once. I have unlocked the Orchid Dotty back. You just unlocked the orchid dotty, <laughs> dotty back. I know. Now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. Follow the remaining objectives to expand your livestock range. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Whenever a guest experiences one of your tanks, you gain points for everything it contains. Ecology points are used to unlock new animals and tank decorations. I have selected my fish to research. The ecology research window will prompt you when you have started earning ecology points. You can open the window to change research at any time by clicking on the progress bar. Moving decorations and animals. Did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? First select the tank containing the obje object you wish to move, then select the move tool by pressing M or using the button in the top left. Now click on the icon of the object you want to move directly beneath the tank's window. Now you have picked up the object, you can place it somewhere else as normal. P.S. You can also sell the objects this way using the demolish tool with X. Alrighty. So I can just grab that then, can I? Right click to pick it up. And plonk it in there. Great. And again. Brilliant. Okay. Pause the game. Pause the game whenever you like by clicking the time control or pressing spacebar. You can even build while paused. Well, that's handy. I think I'll do that now. Whoop. Expand your floor space. Click and drag. Expand your aquarium's floor space to make room for a new tank. First, select the expand tool on the top left of the screen. Look for a button with four tiles on it. 
Now press and drag the left mouse button to designate an area next to your existing floor space to expand into. Uh, so, expand. Oh, there we go then. Simple enough. Build a large tank. Hold down the left mouse button when you build a tank to drag it out to a larger size. Larger tanks allow you to put more animals together in a tank, but they may require additional heating and filtering. Okay, so can I just, like, grab it? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, practice moving the tank. Sometimes you'll want to move your equipment. Practice this now by selecting the move tool, clicking on the tank, and clicking again to drop it somewhere else. But I want it there. So I'm putting it right back where it was. Add a basic heater and filter to your new tank. Add a basic heater and filter to the large tank. You can find them in the equipment section of the build menu. Which is there. Okay, so there's the filter. Whoop. And there is the heater. Where I see. Add some orchid dotty backs to your new tank. You can find your newly unlocked Orchid Dotty back under the livestock section of the build menu. Look for the button with the fish on it. That's the one I want then. How many do I want? I do. Oh no, I need six. Another couple in there then. Okay. Different care requirements. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal. Oh, it's uh, automatically started running. So, you may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal you research and acquire. These are known as animal care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animals and could lead to death. Hope, well, probably for the fish and not me. Your investors have arranged for you to access a new fish called the Half and Half Chromis. Let's take a look at its care requirements. Alrighty. I do apologise if you can hear my belly rumbling. I think it's just because I'm playing a game with fish, and I quite enjoy fish. The half and half Chromis has a requirement you haven't encountered before. It is a shoulder. Shoulder? Shoulder. This means it likes to be with a minimum number of its own kind. Oh, a shoulder fish. Demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of the half and half Chromis in a new tank. Okay, ah, I see. It needs at least four. We should be able to do that, but it does take up three, so three, six, nine, twelve. So it's not going to fit in that. Eh. So. Ah, what I can do is I can take some of these out, plonk them in there. And then we can put the half and half Chromis. What does it say about those? This fish needs to be kept in groups of four or more. In smaller groups, the fish will fight amongst themselves until only one dominant fish survives. It's battle royale, fishy royale. I'll do. Okay, so one, two... I vastly underestimated my counting abilities. Let's put that over there. Can I put them all in there? No. Ah. Okay, you need more fish. How many did I put in there? Three. Four. There we go. Oh. Hello, oh, no, that's all good. Okay. So... Sufficient water quality. Add on the filtering so that the water quality requirement of all animals in the tank are met. Low water quality is reducing the health of animals in this tank. Remove some animals or add more filtering. Okay, so let's slap another filter on. And the heating was sufficient already. Ranking up. Now you've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, and facilities, and increase the repertoire of animals which are available to research. There's more! The higher your rank, the more guests you attract, and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. 
ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in your aquarium. There are many ways to earn prestige, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, tanks and decorations. Your next objective is to rank up, after which you'll be able to unlock the animals required for your remaining objectives. Alrighty. Uh, you should be able to rank up with your existing tanks, but if you have trouble, build more tanks and fill them with interesting and varied displays of animals and decorations. You'll rank up in no time. I mean, I think I'm already going to rank up. There we go, prestige rank 1. And rank up! There we go then. And what have I unlocked? Newly unlocked, a staff door. Staff doors block guests but allow staff through. A combi mini. The combi mini provides combined heating and filtering, saving you space and maintenance, but is only suitable for the smallest of tanks. Mmm, sea grapes. Taste as good as they look, and can be eaten. Yum. Driftwood cave. This carelessly shrewd driftwood forms the perfect shelter for small, cave-loving animals. And I can research the King Demoiselle. Despite its bold colouring, the fish is shy and can often be picked on by more confident tank mates. Bless him. Let's unlock some more animals. Now you're ranked 2 and have access to more animals. You are going to unlock them one at a time and ensure each of their care requirements are met. Okay, aha, uh -huh. I can't get to that. That's interesting. Okay, pick your next ecology project. Oh, he's a wimp. He's just like me. Today I learned I'm a King Damoiselle. Okay, so first things first, we want to have a look at the new equipment. The Combi Mini, which provides 16 filter power and 18 heating. Does cost 79 and is more likely to break down. Right, so what I want to do, I think I'm just going to grab these and save them for now. Oh, well, actually, I wonder if I get a full refund. Although I have forgot how you refund stuff. Hmm. Oops, I'm clicking on too many things. Uh, is there an option? to sell? Okay, one second then. Well, I just check the options and see if there is a key assignment for selling. Ah, the demolish tool, X. Okay, let's see if this refunds us. Click to sell for 36, and how much did it cost us to begin with? Hmm, 36, so yeah, you get your full money back. Well, that's handy. Okay, oh, I should probably pause that, otherwise all my fish are going to die. So let's build a combi mini. There we go. Hmm, I could probably put a couple of combi millis, uh, minis on these as well. I have plenty of money, so why not? There we go. Unlock the King Damoiselle. Okay, acquire at least one King Damoiselle and meet all the requirements. Okay, I think... So let's play this so we can earn some points. But we definitely need a little bit of decoration. Uh, sea grapes? Everyone likes sea grapes. Oh no, it's a massive one. Okay. Ooh, what's it? I forgot I haven't actually read that. What does it say about those? See, oh, taste as good as they look and can be eaten. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's the same information that I got from unlocking. Okay, and I think I will add... Oh, new animals unlocked. The King Damoiselle. Alrighty. You even like the King Damoiselle. Let's take a look. The King Damoiselle is a timid beauty. In other words, a wimp. Don't house them with any animals with the bully tag. Alrighty. Okay, do these have the bully tank? Oh, actually, no, that fish tank is full, isn't it? So I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to need a new fish tank. Uh, 
Okay, and let's put a combi filter. And I think we're good. Oh, hello. Your next ecology project. The Arabian Blue Lined Dottyback. This fish is exceptionally aggressive to more docile tank mates and has even been known to disembowel them. Uh, let me just check. I thought there was a fish that I had that was... Maybe not. Okay. Uh, okay, we need more fish. The King Damoiselle. There we go. More fishies. Unlock the Arabian Blue Line Dotty back. Acquire at least one Arabian Blue Line Dotty back and meet all the requirements. Alrighty. Ooh, day four already. Good stuff. Uh, should we... I'm going to add some sea grapes. Let's add a driftwood cave. And let's finish this one off with... Some more sea cucumber. And why not? Another rock. Okay, the new animal has been unlocked. So it says it will pester wimps, but hopefully not the other things. The Arabian blue line dotty back is a pugnacious little fellow. They are bullies and will terrify any animals with the wimp tag, such as the King Damoiselle, as you unlocked earlier. All right, so have I got room for any of these? No. Are all my fish tanks full? I believe they are. Eight out of eight, eight out of eight. That's got 16. I'm going to need a new tank. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that there. With a combi mini at the back. Oh, hello. Ah, I see. I seem to have run out of room. Okay, that's fine. So a combi mini just there. Uh, that didn't work. Combi mini, there we go. Ah, I see, because I didn't attach it. Okay, and then add some Arabian Blue Line Dotty Bucks. Plonk. Okay, so two of those in there. With... Uh, let's make them more rocky, shall we? Actually, no. Let's go for two rocks. And some driftwood. There we go. Ooh, the yellow tang. Tangs are crucial in their wild environments to keep in check the algae and plants that would otherwise overwhelm the reefs. Tangs can even be seen grazing on algae, growing on the back of turtles. Okay, so this actually has some different requirements. It needs the water quality of at least 60%. It eats green pellets. And it is actually a plant lover, so it does need some greenery. Alrighty, what I might do, can I extend this? Hmm, I can move it, but it doesn't seem like I can extend it. Ah, tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Okay, let's buy a bit more space then, I think. Oops, it's that one, isn't it? And 
What should we do? Let's buy it around here, I think. Okay, that should be enough for a little tank. Okay, I've unlocked the yellow tang. The yellow tang has a higher water quality requirement than any of your other animals. Therefore, you may need to have more filters or less, fi less fish in the tank. Notice that they also eat a different type of food than your other animals. Make sure you build a green pellet dispenser so that your staff can feed it. Finally, the yellow tang likes plants. How some of the tank with at least one plant per tang? Oh, per tang. Interesting. Right. So that actually gives plus five. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to bung that in there. Did that also increase the filtering quality? It does by four. So we might get away with just the one combi. Is there a way to check on the current status? No, not until the fish are actually in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we just need the green pellet dispenser. The green or herbivore pellet provides basic nutrition with a slant towards greens. The dispenser has a limited capacity. Alrighty, so let's stick that there. And then we should be good to add our little tanks to the fish tank. Ooh, oh, I see. So they're damsels, they're dotty backs, grammars, and anthias, and these are surgeon fish. So I should be able. Oh, just the one? Oh, no. Well, it's going to be a bit bored, but. Oh, I feel like it needs a friend. Let's give it a pink friend. The orchid dotty back. Let's see if that'll go in there. You going to go in there and keep him company with that? Destroying the carefully balanced ecology. Okay. Alright, so our next project will be the Black Bar Soldier Fish. Red colouring and big eyes usually means the fish is nocturnal. Red can't be detected at night by most fish, and larger eyes will collect tiny fragments of light. Ah, I see, so it kind of has infrared vision. Okay, it does like a cave. It is an omnivore, but it dislikes lights and cannot be housed in a tank with tank lights attached. Okay. I think we might need a new member of staff soon. But for now, let's add another basic tank. I'm going to move that pellet. Oh, no, I'm not, because... I was planning on building a filter there, but it would just be blocked off. So I don't really want to do that. So let's add the combi filter to this one. There we go. And that will be all ready apart from... Ah, no, we need some cave. Driftwood cave. Let's put it up there, I think. And I think I'm going to give it a couple of... Ah, I mean, small rocks do help filter it, but it's not plant life. Ah, okay. Might give it a little bit of plant. Okay, the black bar soldier fish. Black bar soldier fish are nocturnal, so they like to have a cave to hang out in. When you reach rank 2, you unlock the Driftwood Cave Decoration, which provides cave. So make sure you add one to your Black Bar Soldier Fish tank. Also note that they dislike lights. You don't have to worry about this right now, but later you'll need to light your tanks for certain plants and corals. So you'll need to steer clear of the Black Bar Soldier Fish in those tanks. Okay. So let's just add... What does the times 3 mean? You currently have three in your aquarium. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's add a couple of those. And then we can add a couple of fish. Oh, I think I only added one. One of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. You'll find them in the facilities section. Okay. I'm sure I can do that. Um, I want to give him a friend, though, first of all. 
There we go. Right. So, build benches. Find the bench in the facility section of the build menu. Alright, so the bench. The bench is a basic seat for your guests, allowing them to take a rest. Okay. And I think I'm just going to plonk it down in the middle. That should be alright for now. Oh no, I need three benches. <laughs> That's not going to do at all. Right. Uh... Oh no, a piece of equipment has broken down. This will cause it to slowly lose effectiveness over time. A staff member with a fixing role will automatically retrieve a toolkit and remedy the problem. If many pieces of equipment fail at the same time, you may want to consider hiring more staff, building additional tool stations, or raising the priority of the fixing role on your staff members. Okay. Right, can I extend this over here? No, it's not letting me. Okay. How much is this going to cost me? Oh, I see, it's at the bottom. 480? Let's go for that. That'll give me a bit of room to work with. Ooh, we have two bits of broken down equipment. Ah, but we only have the one person at the moment. Let's see if we can hire someone else. So we've still got Harry, who is better at fixing things, so he might be worth considering. Or we can have Wade. Wade is a bright marine biologist graduate who can learn to work equally well with machines and animals. We are going to go with Harry, though. And then let's plonk down another tool station we might do some rejigging later but for now add a couple more benches mm, where are we going to put them? there and there the aquarium, no, the aquarium is looking great. Your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige and maintain it for a period of time. Okay, so I have to maintain... Well, I'm already over the prestige requirement, so that's great, but I have to maintain it for three minutes. So can it drop? That's interesting. Okay. Can I have a look at the fishies? I was hoping there was going to be like a a view button, like being able to get down to their height or something. Let's have a look what these are. Toggle view rate overlay. Okay, that's cool. Toggle tank capacity. Oh, I actually have two. Ah, I have a bit of room. What have I got in there? The Arabian blue lined dotty back okay let's put another one in there then Oop. there we go and what have i got in there i have the half and half and the orchid dotty back let's see if they're mm, yep let's put another orchid in there then all right And let's show this toggle points total. Toggle guest needs. Oh, that's actually. Toggle point bubbles. Ah, good. So you can declutter. Toggle tasks. Toggle warnings. Toggle walls. Organize windows and close all windows. Okay. Hmm. Don't have another ecology project. I can see all cash flow and everything. Okay. And yeah, so disappointingly there doesn't appear to be a button to like get down to the fishy level. 
So you just have to settle for... Oh, hello! There is! Just keep zooming in and you actually get to walk around. Oh, how lovely. It's a shame it gets rid of all the HUD and stuff, but you can actually inspect the grumpy fish. Wonderful. Ah, I'm a huge fan of that. It's a bit boring, isn't it? That one. Uh, lots of little pink ones. That's much more interesting. Cool. Wonderful. We have another worker going about his busy work. Although he does seem to have turned into some sort of transformer. Okay, and we have about 30 seconds left. I think everything's getting fed, so we seem to be all good. Pretty sure we can handle this for the last 14 or so seconds. What does that say? Entrance 1. There we go. So, you win. You've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium, and people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in Northwoods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button in the bottom left, until you're ready. When you're ready to move on to bigger and better things, let me know. Okay then. Well, I am going to put that I'm ready to take on the new job. But what I'm going to do is also close the stream temporarily. So we just neatly package the stream into a tutorial. So thank you very much for joining me for the first look at Mega Aquarium. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon.